Welcome fancy beauties and bows. So this part of the video, I'm just going to show you guys how I use the meltdown glue. I am using it improperly. So as I do this voiceover, I'll tell you what you are what you are supposed to do. So the first layer that you put down, let that go ahead and clear and get tacky for you before you apply the next layer. I was in a hurry and I had to get this done as quick as possible, but that is the proper way to do it is to just go ahead and let that glue clear. It's much like you would do the Ghost Bond if you're familiar with that product. I only used one layer. I think I maybe used two before I laid it down. But yeah, just make sure you let that clear and get tacky before you place it down. It's gonna make your application a lot easier and a lot smoother for you. And a lot less messy, cause mine was pretty messy. I had to do a lot of cleanup. So yeah, if you do it the right way, you can hopefully avoid what I ran into. Once everything is down, you can go ahead and tie it down if you like. I think I did do that um, before I started my styling to her, which was very minimal. So other than that, guys, stay tuned for the next half of the video, which is going to be the in-depth review of eyeshadow wigs. And I will see you on the other side. What's up, fancy beauty symbols? Welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Gina coming through. Give you the tea on this eye show wig that we have been seeing and been bombarded with on Facebook. So I gave you guys that video on my first impressions of her, right? So I wanted to come in and just really do an informative review on this unit. So, I have, first of all, I want to tell you that I have her tacked down with the meltdown glue that we also have been hit over the head a thousand and one times to purchase. So, I did go ahead and purchase this glue. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now, sis. This glue is the bomb, okay? Y'all know that's been with me for years upon years. Know that I would not trade anything for my ghost bond glue. That glue to me was everything under the sun of God. This glue right here, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you. Go get this glue. Don't don't get the trial size. Get the biggest size you can get because it is worth every penny you are going to spend on that glue okay it is worth it look okay now she's loose she's ready to come off but when i tell you she held on and my problem areas are right over here this is where our wigs lift the most Girl, look, I'm trying to tell you something over here. Do you see? She only lifting because it's been so long since she's been on me. Okay? But I was able to pull her up in a ponytail. I was able to do everything that I wanted to do with this glue. Okay? This glue is everything. And I will be purchasing again because I want... I don't want to be without this glue. Okay. Now that we got those rave reviews out the way, let's move on to this unit. Okay. I like the unit, okay, because I like the natural, realistic vibes that it's given to me. Because it's not, it's not thick, and it's not, the, the density 
In other words, it's not overwhelming. And it's not like, oh my gosh, she got a wig on. Here come the wig. Oh, that go Gina. She right behind the wig. It's not giving you those vibes. Now, if you like big hair, which I do, I like big hair sometimes. But on an everyday basis, I want something that's going to look natural on me. And this is this is what she's giving to me. I'm getting natural um, vibes when I wear her. And I got so many compliments. Let me show you the texture of this unit. And this is just from the first time that I washed her. All right. And this is in the back. So she is coming all the way down. She's coming past my tailbone. That's how long she is. And she's 22 inches long. I'm going to leave you the link in the description bar so you go and take a look. But I'm telling you right now. You're not going to get thick. If that's what you're looking for, just stay away from this company, okay? Because at least this unit right here. Because she's not thick, okay? She is a natural density. Let me show you the hairline. Because the hairline is all way, baby, baby. I love the hairline. So let me show you. You see, it's pre-plucked. Now, if you want to go in there and do some more plucking, you can. But I was satisfied. That's just residue from the glue. Like I said, it's time for her to come off, so I'm not tripping. But that is the hairline. I would suggest... If you are uh, my skin tone, I would suggest to go ahead and um, bleach it, bleach the knots, um, and maybe maybe get your tea bag and try to do something with that um, lace. But I'm okay with the lace color because all I did is put my foundation on this part of it right here. And it blended really well. So you don't even have to worry if it's if it's going to blend or if you're going to be able to see that you got the makeup, anything like that. Now, as far as the parting space, you're not going to get a lot. This is as far as you're going to get right here. And then right here, all this is track. Okay. On the sides... You're going to get this much. You're going to get that much part in space. All right. Now, if you need more than that, stay away from this. As far as the shedding is concerned, I did get some shedding when I combed her out. When I brushed her, I did get some shedding. So, just to make you aware of that. Tangling, minimal. It was minimal tangling. I didn't have to stay in the bathroom with my brush on my brakes and, you know, comb her out and you know, all that other kind of stuff. She was very easily maintained throughout the day. So that is a big plus for me because that's something that I look for uh, in a unit when I'm giving my reviews and if I'm going to spend my money on it again. I will be going back to order another unit from this company i'm pleased with this unit right here so if you guys have any questions oh 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 before i forget shipping i placed my order february the 11th and i got her in my palms of my hands on february the 15th so that was on uh, i think february 11 was on a tuesday or wednesday and I received it on the Saturday. So that's pretty darn good. That's pretty quick to get a unit in the mail. And it came UP 
USPS. No, no, it came USPS, United States Post Office. So I ca I got it that way. So, but yes, I like the texture. Let me go ahead and show you real quick because I have not done this um, since I've had her. I've just worn her in her natural state. So let's see how she does. On a cur on a um, straight to straighten her out. So let's see. And I'm using these. They should be hot enough. I just plugged them in. That's one pass. So it's still curling now. Two, three. All right, so three pass. And it's not bone straight. So it could be my curlers, because these are just some little cheap curlers, girl. So it could be my curlers. It could be the fact that she's dirty and need to be washed. That's six. Six pass and she's still not straight. Bone straight. Okay. And uh, I may come back and tell you, you know, how. I may curl it and tell you how it curls. Because I got another unit that I need to review for you guys. So. But I just wanted to come in real quick and give you guys some more information on this unit. And again, I'll leave that description, um, the link in the description bar, okay? Until next time, y'all stay fancy, stay focused, stay prayed up, stay positive, stay motivated, and stay hungry for life. And I'll see you on the next video. See you guys.